Hi, everyone. Welcome to Chaos Europe Conference 2022. I am so excited to be here. And <laughs> I'm so pumped, actually. I'm really, really pumped to be here. So my name is Atene Gyoruaba Mikemi, and I am from Lagos, Nigeria. I'll be speaking on sustainability, tips on building a whole healthy open source community. I know the talk I've been around sustaining open source, right? And we are saying in the next couple of years, what, what, um, what is going to keep open source in existence is, uh, in existence is community, right? Now, we, we want to talk about the importance of having a healthy open source community. Once again, uh, I'll be, okay, just me to know about me, me. I am developer manager at Tsunga.hahu. Tsunga is a staff augmentation company. We connect African developers with Europe clients. And I'm also volunteering as community manager at Layer 5. Layer 5 is like my big, big, <laughs> I'm a big fan of open source, yeah. So Layer 5 is an open source. A community that works with uh, Kubernetes and mesh rays, build mesh rays and well, mesh. <laughs> and yes, um, I am also the front end community lead for Shikoda Africa. And uh, Shikoda Africa being uh, Africa non governmental um, community where we groom, where we advocate for more ladies to get into the tech space. And of course, open source, right? So yes, this is me. <laughs> and uh, let's go. Okay, so I know I have limited time, so I'm just gonna like brush through everything, right? And I'm just gonna leave this slide for uh, folks to be able to like catch up with later on. But then we would want to ask ourselves like, what is open source community, right? And uh. For me, I would say open source community is like a, a place where we all will all come together and share and share common common value. That's community. Now talking about open source, it's now like where people come together from all over the world to contribute to a particular project, right? So uh, the sweet part of it is that open source has made it very, very easy for folks in different in different geographical area to work on a single project. This is so interesting. And that means that is bringing room for more collaboration, right? Is letting, is letting different people, African, Europeans, Asians, they come together and work on one single project. So now, uh, let's just go with, so, you we might want to say that why should the com uh, the community be healthy? You all can just like come and just um, contribute to the project and get on to your life, right? But then it's like I said, it aids better collaborations because it makes it gives room for people. I mean, I I have been in a room where I'm working with folks that I might never have met in my entire life, staying in Lagos, Nigeria. So this is this is what our open source doors. It brings people together to work on a single project, right? Even multiple projects, as the case may be. Then it's a sustainability of the project and of open source in general. So if you're saying that it hits uh, sustainability of the project, that means that um, when you have when you have a project, when there is an open source co community for that project. It makes the project to keep growing, to keep growing, right? So that's when you have version two, version two point two, version two point four, and like that, like that, like that. That's because it's 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 making when when you get, when you when you have those projects and you have users that uses this project, this particular tool, and they give you feedback. So it is it is easy for people to even like come around and and work on that feedback. Now it, it may not be feedback. It may be it may be like another another folk just drop on the project and just check through and be like, oh, something, 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 something may be maybe changed in this project, right? So it's it's the sustainability of that project. Hence, 
aiding the sustainability of open source in general. I'm sorry, I might be talking something too fast. Um, that's what we have today. So again, you say that what makes a LD open source community, right? Now let's go to the tips while we are here. First is community first approach, right? You want to make your community member feel welcomed. You want to make it feel at home. So I was I was writing an article of recent, of recent, which was yesterday. And I, it, it's like, I, I was saying community in a glance, right? At a glance, rather. And what came to my mind is the, our sense of belonging, right? Uh, I know that most times we all like try to fit into a specific place. We want to like, um, we want to fit in. We, we want to be, we want to be noticed. We want to, to be acknowledged, right? And then you, you bring folks together with like, like minds, right? And with common interests, with common, that wants to share common value. You bring them together. Right. So when you make your community a welcoming space for someone that is like that is trying to fit into a particular place, right? It makes it makes the community grow more. It makes the community healthy. Because when I'm coming to the community and I and I and I have a sense of belonging, right? I feel like I belong here. I want to stay. And as I'm staying, I also want to invite others, right? So that brings the community to being healthy. It's it's it sustains the project more. It sustains the community, and in general, it sustains open source. Another thing, yes, I I got this from the dispensary. Is is a great person in the community space, not generally open source. But then he, he actually talked about something that is really interesting, which is. Some people will actually struggle with the form of relationship rights. They they have some kind of like they they are not probably good with talking outside or showing themselves. But one on one conversation is needed. That's when community two comes in, right? You have to you don't have to just like bring up a project or uh, uh just just request send a PR get your PR merged and all right. You want the community member to know that they are in a place where, where they are valued, right? Where they are valued and also where they are giving value, when they are giving value back to them, right? So it's a, it's a two-way street, right? Uh, I am giving you value. I am also giving me value in return. So you, you want your community member to feel that way. You want them to feel like community is home. Right, they feel they feel safe. It's a fit safe space. It's not where where they they just they just contribute. So I that, that's one thing I love about layer five about chaos because I, I've been in chaos for a while. Even if I'm not like really 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 hacked, but chaos feels like boom, and that's why I remain there. Right, it, it's 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 um it's amazing our how they make you feel welcomed, how they make you feel like, especially in my, in, in my group, that has the diversity and inclusion, the way we, we come to meetings and like talk about our day, talk about what is going on in our lives, is, is super, you want that kind of relationship in community. And that is really, really important in building sustainability of open source. Then also improving onboarding process. Improving improving onboarding process is also important because you 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 don't want uh, a community member to be lost when they get into the community, right? Ignore my meme. Actually, you don't want a community member to be lost. So improving onboarding process is also important. Make sure you go through the step by step from from welcoming them to explaining every detail of the project to them so they don't get lost. Because sometimes what makes some, some people leave a community is probably they are lost. They do not understand the project. Make the project as easy as possible for them. We, 
Then another thing is accepting, implementing, accepting and implementing feedback from members. Feedback is important. They, they will have suggestions, they will have feedback. Don't make them feel like you are not listening to them. Don't make um, them feel like um, their, their suggestion or their feedback does not matter, right? So it, it aids, it aids, um, it aids sustainability of your projects when the community, I mean, the, the maintainers take feedback and they implement feedback. I, I mean, it's not all feedback you implement anyways, but the important ones and the ones that you know that it's going to serve in the community, you implement them. And even the ones that are not like good for the community, you can communicate back to them and say, oh, this is why we are not doing this. This is why, this is what we'll be going with and make them see reason. So not just like you shut them out, right? So another reason is make your project easy to contribute to. This cannot be overemphasized because like I said initially, explaining the project for them and makes it to, to make it easy, as easy as possible is very, very important. If one gets to a community and you want to contribute to a project and the project is just so hard to contribute to. I mean, there's a lot, tons of, open source communities, right? You may just move to the next. So making your project easy to contribute to is what enhance the, um, the sustainability of open source and increase the growth. So this is, this is some facts according to um, GitHub that you all can go through later on. Then providing a well detailed and structured code of conduct and enforcing it. It's important for a community to have code of conduct because like I said, people are coming from different areas. They are coming from different places and they are coming with different mentality, right? They are coming with different orientation. You want to tell them that this is how things are done here and you have to abide with it to be in this community. Yes. So um, this is, uh, this is, a scenario by Ben Belta. Um, I'm sure some, some people might have come across it. I just find it phenomenal because it's like a real life scenario that happens and it's really, really amazing. I think something I didn't add is um, the documentation and that should be where I said, making your, uh, making your project easy to contribute to. Documentation is important, right? I didn't mention that. So you can, as well, just read that all. Documentation is really, really important. Incomplete or outdated documentation makes it very hard for people to contribute to your project. So yes, again, uh, talking about the word dinner party scenario, the word dinner party scenario is something Ben Balto can come up with. And when I read it, sometimes I say it was, it eats me because it was like a life thing. When I was saying that uh, community, I mean, contributing to open source or community is like a two-way street. You give value and I give value back to you, right? So that is just what this story is about. I was talking about how when you organize a party, you organize a dinner party and you are the host, say the mesh, uh, the, I mean, um, the maintainers, right? And you are, you invite people, the contributors, to come to the party, right? To come contribute and heat, whatever. And you, you, they bring gifts to you. You welcome them with open arms. That's the whole scenario, the old dinner party scenario still boils down to the old tips I just gave. So welcoming them is you onboarding them, making it community foster approach, right? Then they also bring gifts for you. That's them contributing to your project. You show them around. We even introduce them to other guests. Yeah, right. That's that's where the collaboration with other contributors comes in, and that's also where you are making the project easy for them to contribute to. So this board party is like a great dinner party. Is like a great <laughs> it's a great scenario for this for this discussion. Anyways, so I'm just going to be leaving you with this and this and this because I know I have 
used up my time. And yes, community managers are the best. I know we have a lot of them in the open source space and I'm so, I'm, I'm so happy and excited to be part of this space. I hope to see you all again, probably next chaos conference and probably I'm going to be doing physical. You all are the best and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you very much.